We're doing ourselves in as humanity, and uh, and it's almost like because we've been doing it for so long, right. it's, it has become acceptable at all levels. And, and you see the scientists that I work with, I mean, some of the most brilliant, brilliant minds in the world that are really working on solutions to this. I'm talking about nutraceutical chemists. I'm talking about geneticists. I'm talking about medical people. Uh, my second book, I'm writing with a, a very, very prominent doctor, Dr. Uh, Nick Messina, who's been involved in the last 10 years in major, major drug trials. And when I came to this with, and I, you know, I, I explained the Tadosi syndrome to him, I mean, he just, he went nuts. He said, oh my gosh, I, this, we, we need to be looking at this because we're running out of drugs. We're running out of solutions. And I'm not against drugs as long as they're legal, but I really think that what happens to us is we become so dependent. You know, uh, there was a big article in the New York Times three weeks ago. Our kids, 16% of all our kids are on, on drugs for ADD and ADHD, Adderall, Ritalin, et cetera. I mean, this is crazy. This is just out of control. And many of the scientists believe that the major contributing factor to many of these conditions is lack of nutrients, lack of nutrition, not food, not calories, okay? Because, you know, in my book, I, I say the enemy is not calories. It's toxins. But now, having hindsight, I would have said it's the Tadosi syndrome. Mm -hmm. So I was on it, but I, I couldn't quite see it. It was like it was just a little bit out of focus. And when Tadosi came together, that's when everything changed. Everything changed. You connected the dots. I connected the dots, right. which right. took me, you know, 10-year overnight sensation, but it took me 10 years to figure it out. And by the way, I'm just reminded that um, there's a couple of things I didn't share that oh. are very important to me. Okay. okay. And I think this is important. So first of all, I've been on a blood pressure medication for the last 10 years. So one of my goals going through this process with you is to not to have to take those anymore. And I think I'm pretty close. Well, remember, we're not going to make any medical claims, but that's your own personal Correct. story. Correct. That's my own personal story. Right. And, and that would be a noble goal, you know, if you yeah, can certainly do that. It's a goal that. that I have, and yeah. I will do it with my doctor. Right. But you know. and, and your doctor would tell you if you can lose weight, typically. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not some like, th there's no one product, okay? Let's be honest. There's no one, there's no magic bullet, whatever. It's a combination of many things. Like in my book, we're going to talk about yoga and meditation and relaxation as strategies to deal with stress on top of having very specific nutrient combinations that we'll actually give, we'll give them the recipe. They can go out and put it together themselves if, if, if they want to take the time to do that. So it's not like we're not here to try and sell anybody anything. We're just saying, are you aware this is what's going on? And do you think that the solution you'll tell me, which is probably going to be diet and exercise, can possibly work in the face of the evidence that's overwhelming? Yeah. And then one more thing I wanted to share, which is three months ago, accidentally, although I don't believe in accidents, I don't think it was an accident, <laughs> but I don't want to waste it. time explaining the story, but I found out that uh, my sugar level was 400. Wow. And I, and I didn't know. It's just one of those examples. Awareness. I didn't know. I, I you thought, didn't know what you didn't know. You know, you I thought, thought that great. some of those symptoms that I had had to do with the fact that I'm getting older. Right. Okay? Well, no. Right. And, um, and so I was diagnosed three months ago with uh, uh, type 2 diabetes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's another goal that I have is that, again, and I'm going to do it with my doctor. Absolutely. You and always have to get the doctor involved, and there's no <clears throat> diet or exercise program, et cetera, or any of the protocols we'll talk about that we don't want the doctors to be involved to monitor to you. Mm -hmm. Because um, the good news would be, let's just say, even if you could reduce the amount of medication maybe that you need, or, you know, obviously your goal would be if you could eliminate it ultimately, but always with the help of your doctor. All I'm saying is that the human body is the best doctor that anyone's ever seen. But what we've, what we've attempted to do now is we've, we've used this psychology. It's really the Titanic psychology, right? We're going to lower calories to lose weight, but at the same time, we're going to cause major detriment to our own body because even if you eat the norm, well, they already said on a diet, you need, you know, between 12 and 37,000 calories a day. Hello? So which diet are you going to go on that's going to deal with this? It's just, it, it's not in the cards when you analyze the nutrients in food. We need something else. We need a new strategy. We need a new technology. We need a completely different approach because the numbers keep getting worse and we keep doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. They even said it they, uh, in this documentary, not my words, they said um, that medicine now is basically based on procedural intervention. 
so that we have the best doctors, the best medical devices. They can give you a stint. They can give you a, a pacemaker, despite the fact that the head of the Cleveland Clinic says that getting a stint won't prevent another heart attack and will not prolong your life because people won't make the changes, again, to deal with the Tadosi syndrome. So they think, okay, I got a second chance. Well, now I can go back and eat fast food, et cetera. No, you can't. With the food I eat Toxic to my health Till I Got the news There's another 